Okay, so we'll create our event hub. Um, so on the Azure portal, portal, searching for it in the marketplace. Um, the actual resource that we're creating right now, even though it's saying it's event hub, it's actually a namespace you can see up here. So a namespace contains event hubs. Um, and in real world use, it may be your production namespace versus your sandbox or a namespace for a particular application that the event hubs um, being used for. Now, most of the um, properties that you need to fill in is standard in terms of subscription, resource group, location, um, but it's really the pricing tier that's the only thing that you need to consider. So by default, it's select a standard. We're gonna downgrade that back to basic because that's sufficient for the demo. Uh, you can see the main differences is in terms of the number of consumer groups that you're allowed, uh, the retention period, and also this ability for event hubs to auto inflate. So from a capacity perspective, you set your initial throughput units. We'll leave it as at the minimum of one. Uh, but if you're on the standard plan, it could auto inflate up to whatever the upper limit that you set. So you can, I guess, cap in terms of how expensive it can get. Um, but downgrading back to basic, we lose that capability. So we'll be fixed at the one throughput unit. So while I've created uh, creating that resource, um, I've actually already set one up and within that na uh, namespace, you have the ability to create um, event hubs. So uh, we'll click on the plus button. In here, we'll call it event hub Bitcoin. So partitions, um, if you wanted to, partitions allow us to organize the data. By default, the minimum is two. That's all that we need. Uh, it will just be a round robin assignment to those partitions. Uh, there is this on the standard plan, the ability to capture like all the data to either blob storage or Azure data lake. Um, at the moment we don't have that option, but uh, if you had that on and configured, you could be dumping all the data that's being um, ingested as well as um, streaming it off to a consumer. And that's it. So that's our event hub created. Um, in the next video, we'll work on the Azure function to consume the Bitcoin API data and send it as an event producer to our event hub.